the answers for factors and multiples. And these are the numbers that we've got. For 39, so for all the numbers, remember one is a factor. So let's start with one. And one multiplied by what gives you 39? And that would be 39 itself. So we write 39 here. And the next number, it's not divisible by two. So let's look at three. So it's three is a factor, three multiplied by what number? So three multiplied by 13 gives you 39. Now let's look at 42. So as I told you, start with one and 42 is a factor. Does it go in two times table? Yes, it ends in two. So it goes in two times table. Two multiplied by 21. Does it go in three times table? Yes, it is three multiplied by 14. What about the four times table? No, it does not go in the four times table. Five, six, what about six? Six multiplied by seven. So these are the factors. For 24, we have one multiplied by 24. So we have one and 24 as factors. Two and 12 as factors because two multiplied by 12 is 24. Three multiplied by eight is 24. Four multiplied by six is 24. And these are the factors of 24. Let's look at 99. 1 and 99 are factors. 3 and 33 are factors of 99 because 3 multiplied by 33 is 99. We have 9 multiplied by 11 which is again 99. So these are the factors of 99. So let's look at the next one. So we need to find out what is the common factor of 25 and 36? As we said, one is always a factor of all the numbers. So it is one here. Of 24 and 42, we know that four is a factor of 24, but four is not a factor of 42. Seven is a factor of 42, but not of 24. Two, yes, happens to be a factor of both 24 as well as 42. So the answer is 2. For 35 and 70, we know that 3 is not a factor of 35. 15 is not a factor of 35. 70 is not a factor of 35. 7 is a factor of 35 and 7 is a factor of 72. So the answer is 7. So let's look. Let's circle 7. Yes. Let's look at the next one. So the next one is the factor tree. So remember, factor tree is where you're going to write that particular number and split it. In the first case, we have 18, which is split as 2 multiplied by some number. So 2 multiplied by what gives you 18? 2 multiplied by 9. So your A is 9. Make a note of it. Now, A, which is 9, is now split as 3 multiplied by what? So, your C is 3 multiplied by 3. So, C happens to be 3. And what is B? B is just carried forward as 2 here. So, it remains 2. Let's look at the next one. 20 is 5 multiplied by what number? 5 fours are 20. So, A is 4. And here, A is again split as something into 2. So 4 is 2 into what? So B happens to be 2. And here we have 5 which is brought down as C. So C is 5. 66 is 11 multiplied by what number? So 11 into 6 is 66. And 6 is split as 2 into some number. So 2 into what gives you 6? 2 3s are 6. So B happens to be 3. And C is brought forward here as 11. So this was the factor tree. Let's now look at what we have here. We have Rehan's mother had asked him to buy a set of flowers. So that's 30 flowers and arrange them equally or arrange them in equal bunches. Oh, there are various combinations that he can uh, do it. So how do they do it and what are the different arrangements? So let's look at 30. So 30 can be written as 1 into 30. So I can have one bunch of 30 flowers. So I can have 1 into 30. 
So that is one bunch of 30 flowers. Or I can do it as two bunches of 15 flowers, correct? Exactly the way we did the earlier problems. So we could do it as two bunches of 15 flowers. Or I could do it as three bunches of 10 flowers, right? So I have three bunches of 10 flowers each. Or can I do the four times table? It doesn't go in the four times table. So can I do it in the five times table? Yes, I can have five bunches of six flowers each. And then we have six bunches. Now you will see that the numbers are being repeated. Six bunches of five flowers, 10 bunches of three flowers. And again here it is 15 bunches of two flowers and 30 bunches of one flower each. So altogether, there are eight such different arrangements that Vihan and his mother can do, right? Match the numbers in column A to their multiples in column B. So let's look at the first one. The first one is 7. So remember, in the tables of 7, in the multiples of 7, which one of these numbers comes in? So we have 7 sevens are 49. We have 20 multiplied by 2 is 40. 12 will be a multiple and yes, it does go with 96 here. Let me write this properly so that you're able to see it clearly. 12 eights are 96 and 15 multiplied by 6 is 90. Great. So now let's look at the next one. The next one is forks and folks are sold in, uh, folks are sold 12 in a package. So in each packet, you have 12 of those folks and spoons are sold as 20 in a package. Now, what do we want to find out? We have to find out an equal number of each item. That means for every fork, we need to have a spoon. What is the least number of fork packages and spoon packages that we will have to buy? So we have to first find out what is the common multiple of 12 and 20. So that is something which we need to find out. And we see that yes, 12 ones are 12, 12 twos are 24, 12 threes are 36, 12 fours are 48, 12 fives are 60. Let's now look at 20. 20 ones are 20, 20 twos are 40, 20 threes are 60. So we find that 60 is something which is in common. So which means that I can have one fork and one spoon definitely for each of them. So which means I need to buy, as I told you, it is 12, ones are 12, 12 in the second packet. So this is the first packet. In the second packet, I have 24 together. If I buy three packets, it is 36. If I buy four packets, it is 48. And if I buy five packets, it is 60. This is for the forks. Now let's look at the spoons. So if I buy one packet, it is 20. If I buy two packets, it will become 40. And if I buy three packets, it will be 60. And we saw that the common multiple is 60 here and here. So which means we need to buy five fork packages as is given here and three spoon packages. I'm a two digit number less than 90. I'm a common multiple of six and eight. So we need to find out what are the common multiples of 6 and 8, which are less than 90. So we find that the common multiples would be, let's say, 24. Is 24 a common multiple of both? Yes, perfect. Uh, then the next number would be, the common multiples would be multiples of this. So it becomes 48. 24 multiplied by 2 is 48. You can check that's the next common multiple. And after that, you have... 72. So, and then of course it goes beyond 90. So, we stop there. But I'm not a factor of 72. So, we see that if we are not a factor of 72. So, that means this is not taken. 
and we know that 24 is a factor of 72. So again, this is not considered. Therefore, the two-digit number is 48. The last one, which numbers are divisible by 5 but not by 9? This is divisible by 5. This is divisible by 5. Why is that? Because the units column has got 5. If it is 5 or 0, the number is divisible by 5. So this is divisible by 5, this again, and this is divisible by 5. So we know that this is not divisible by 5, but what are we looking at? We are looking at numbers which are divisible by 5, but not by 9. So let's understand what's the divisibility for 9. Add up the digits. And if that particular number comes in the 9 times table, then that number is divisible by 9. For example, the first one, 4 plus 8 is 12, 12 plus 5 is 17, 17 plus 2 is 19, 19 plus 5 is 24, 2 plus 4 is 6. Does it come in 9 times table? No. So this is divisible by 5, but not by 9. So this is one option. Let's look at the next one. So let me look at D since I'm going in this particular column wise. So I have 5 plus 4 is 9, 9 plus 1 is 10, 10 plus 3 is 13, 13 plus 5 is 18, 8 plus 1 is 9. This is divisible by 9. So we are not circling this particular option because we are looking at numbers which are not divisible by 9 but divisible by 5. Let's look at option number B. 4 plus 1 is 5, 5 plus 4 is 9, 9 plus 9 is 18, 1 plus 8 is 9. Yes, it comes in 9 times table, so this is not an option. Option E, 4 plus 1 is 5, 5 plus 5 is 10, 10 plus 5 is 15, 1 plus 5 is 6. 6 comes in 9 times table? No, so this is an option again where it is divisible by 5 but not by 9. Let's look at option number F. We don't need to consider C because it was not divisible by 5. So 9 plus 7 is 16. 16 plus 5 is 21. 21 plus 4 is 25. 5 plus 2 is 7. Not in 9 times table. So this is an option. Great. If you like to do more such worksheets, log on to Luma World.